it, getting into into that, what, what got you into the racing? Yeah, for me, it's um, if uh, I'm sure a lot of uh, older fans could understand, it's uh, it's a family sport for me. It's in my blood. My father raced right. competitively in the cup uh, the cup series for for 30 almost 30 years and he raced for almost 30 years and was in the cup series all through the uh late 80s and 90s uh, for me it's kind of all just been oh you guys got me yeah, we yeah got i you. got you i got you yep okay um for me it's just it's even when i can't remember you know i was growing up at the racetrack so it's um you know it was it was something i always knew i was going to um kind of experiment with growing up and then i was lucky enough to fall in love with it um so i started racing when i was uh six six years old in go-karts small you know low horsepower bandolero cars um and then the older i got the the bigger faster heavier you know race cars i got into Uh, and then all the way up to uh to the national series where i'm at now um made my first truck series start in 2015 and then uh, kind of just dabbled along a little bit since then. Um, did a little bit of uh, Xfinity racing this year. We started off uh, the first, got through four races, and then everything uh, kind of came to a standstill. But right now I'm full-time driving for Johnny Davis Motorsports in the Xfinity Series and got uh, got a couple truck series uh, races playing this year. Um, but, you know, for me it's kind of racing has always been um, – it's always been it. You know, it's what my – it's what my dad grew up doing. It's what my grandfather even did a little bit. Um, it's what my entire aunt and uncle, um, aunts and uncles moved across the country for my dad to follow with. So it's kind of, you know, there's not a single topic that uh, that is brought up without having some bit of racing um, attached to it in some way. Do you enjoy? Um, do are, are you a are you a, as far as a racing head? Are, are you are you one of those that can just turn on about any type of racing and just watch it on TV? Or, or are you too busy with what you're doing now? I know you're in school at UNC Charlotte, which you guys got a football team now. You need to, it's about time to give up that roll tide for the for the, for the, right. for the Golden Nuggets, right? <laughs> That's right. Um, you know when it comes to racing, I think I can turn on almost any type. You know, I might enjoy it differently. Um. I might like F1 race of the cars and the machines and stuff like that. Um, I might like, uh, I might like um, Indy car racing for the racetracks they're going to or something like that. But as far as a whole package, I, you know, and I'm not being, I might be a little biased, but I think it's hard to beat NASCAR, man. It's hard to beat, you know, the, the competitiveness, the close quarter racings. You know, when I watch, when I do watch other racing, it's tough because, you know, my, I'm used to the competitiveness of being within tenths of a second around each other, not, you know, seconds or laps like other stuff. Um, I'm used to being able to beat and bang with guys and, and, you know, that's considered hard racing. Whereas it's, you know, you watch other forms of it and if they touch wheels, their whole day's over and they got to come in and pit, you know, go to the pit stop. If they, if they run off the track or if they scrub the wall, they got to come in and put a front wing on. So, um, for me, it's different. I do like it for the appreciation, but uh, there's nothing better than good old stock car racing. Jesse, it's funny you said that. I said that exact thing Saturday, I think, Hunter, or last week, uh, about the reason that I personally don't like the other cars. I I, I like the uh, the bumping and the banging, uh, and like you said, it's it, it's the, the hard racing. Like you know, you're racing someone. You're a few inches away from someone, and you can hit them. And that's that's totally different. Yep. Like you said. Um, with your you know little tire rub and and both your days over and and, and yeah I, I've not been a fan yeah. of that and that, that is one reason I, I you know I get a yeah I, I was just gonna say I get a kick out of watching you know European racing or something like that when they have race stewards that you know tell someone that was too aggressive driving or something <laughs> like that you know and it's 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 funny just growing up the way growing up the way I did and the way you know we think of um, racing over here. Um, you know, that's what, that's what puts asses in the seat. So, you know, I'm, I'm all for it. Could, could some of those fellas over there, uh, hang on the dirt tracks of the Carolinas? You know, I certainly think so. Uh, talent wise now, um, uh, ego wise, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> um, cause it's, uh, you know, it's, it's hardcore and you'll grow up quick. I know, especially racing, 
you know, and, and being a young driver, that was always the, the really interesting thing. Um, I think looking back, looking back, it's interesting now is, you know, I was a lot of times growing up racing throughout the Southeast, you know, I could have been a lot of those guys' sons. That's how, you know, big of the age difference. And so you really learn quickly, um, the different levels of respect, I think compared to other sports where you're, you know, you are close to the same age relatively. Um, whereas like in racing, you know, I, uh, I've, I've raced next to Jimmy Johnson and Kevin Harvick and, 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 you know, those guys are almost as old as my dad. So it's, you know, it's, I think that's one cool aspect as well as, you know, it's another variable you got to think of. Honey, 